Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to How Train Your Gavin. If you wonder why I'm smiling so much, it's because Heartstop has just come on Netflix. I am so excited, genuinely so excited. I've been waiting for this day for years. Like even before it got announced, I was so excited for Heartstop to become a TV show. I just always thought that that graphic novel series and if you do not know, Heartstopper is based off a graphic novel series by Alice Osman. I have my little Nick and Charlie standee as well. I'm so proud of it. Oh crap, so that's just sitting there watching me, reminding me I'm single AF. And I do have a whole reading vlog reading all four volumes or rereading all four volumes of the Heartstopper series, which I only uploaded I think last week. So it's very new. Do check that one out if you haven't already. It's me reading all of them in one vlog. And yeah, I just freaking love, freaking freaking love Heartstopper so much. It's my favourite graphic novel series of all time. Granted, it's pretty much the only graphic novel series I've ever read. It's still my favourite. I hope you also like my Heartstopper shit. <laughs> and how you see it on the back as well. I don't know if you can actually see, but on the back as well it says, I've fallen for Heartstopper. At least I think that's what it says. I put it on too quickly that I didn't really check. So thank you so much 5 Get Bookish for sending me this. I owe you my life. So yes, in this video will be my very first time if I do a kind of reaction video like this, I've reacted to my own videos because, well, they're iconic as fuck, but I've never reacted to something else. And I'm, I mean, one, I'm worried about copyright. I don't know how that works. Uh, two, I just, the editing of this is probably gonna be a nightmare, but you know what, it's what I'll do for Nick and Charlie, okay? And three, I mean, I can't remember what my original question was that made me list options, but just going off a tangent here as well, Netflix, how dare you? How dare you release Sun and Sunset and Heartstopper on the same day? Like, it's like, I've had all week off. I booked this week off work so that I would definitely have today off. Let me get this straight. You release Sun and Sunset season five on the same day as Heartstopper season one. Like, what is wrong with you? So I watched the first three episodes of Sun and Sunset this morning when I first woke up and I looked absolutely awful. I was not getting myself in front of a camera. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. I'm awake now. I feel a bit more camera ready. And I'm just ready to get straight into it. I'm ready to get straight into it. Let's see how this goes. Because again, this is my first time doing something like this. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it right. Fingers crossed. Also, if you keep hearing shouts outside, I don't live in the best area. It's pretty rough. And it's Friday. So... Of course, there's gonna be drinking, there's gonna be fights. I'll keep you updated. Anyway, I'm gonna click start. I'm so excited. But before I do, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. Okay, next. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my god. Okay. Let's. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, I'm so scared. Okay. Because I love hot. No, I'm not gonna get in another tangent. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Turn the volume right up, Missy. Oh my god! It's real! It's real! The editing though, the editing. I love the frame stuff. So. Oh, Ben. Ben Hope. Ben fucking Hope. I hate that man. It's a shame as well because I love the actor. <laughs> oh, actually, can we meet up a pretty good set? Honestly. Story of my life. Story of my life. Oh, this is when he meets Nick for the first time. Well, actually, no, he doesn't meet him for the first time, but when they, yeah, sure. <laughs> ah, yes, you're over there. Next to Nicholas Nelson. Oh! There he is. There he is. Oh, the animation. Oh. Oh, stop it. Hi, hi. Oh. Oh my god, I love that title screen. One, meet, love it. Okay, this is already my favourite TV show of all time. Stop it. Ah, uh, You're probably watching this thinking, God, why is so hard on, on young love? If you've never read Hot Stuff before, don't come at me. This is not... I'm just... I'm keeping you right, okay? I'm keeping you right. Do not fall for Ben. Do not like him. Mm-mm, mm-mm. As much as I love the actor, just don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, hi. I saw this in the trailer, but I love it. Just, hi. Why are you talking to me? I don't even know who you are. Oh, my Lord. Oh, hi. You know, Mr. Reed was still refusing to call her out. Yeah, Mr. Reed's a massive transphobe. It's still weird, though. There used to be four Shame on the transphobes of the world. Like Shame. It's a group. Shame. Nick Nelson, the guy you sit next to in form. Yes, it is. Oh, he's falling in love. Oh, I can't wait to meet Elle. Oh my god, the freaking animations, I love it. The transitions, oh, I love it. Oh, hi Elle. I love Elle so much. 
hang on, hang on, hang on. Just pause for a second again. I am loving how much Elle is also getting some other characterization as well that we don't really get to see in the graphic novel because the graphic novel is mainly Nick and Charlie, but in this TV show, we're getting to see a little bit of everyone. And we're getting to see more of Elle because I'm just continuing. Uh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, I'm sorry about ignoring you yesterday. No, you're not. Sorry. I love this teacher so much. I've got a boyfriend. Oh, well, congratulations. Oh, wait, no. God, I, I'm sorry, but like, even just all the playground stuff as well. Oh my God, I've just paused on an awful part. I'm getting flashbacks to school. Uh, so seeing it, especially since this is British. British. This is British, mate. So seeing this school is like, give me flashbacks, mate. I'm so good at accents, honestly. Mm. Cast me in season two. Ah, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, send it. Sandy! Mm-hmm. Don't act like that. Don't pretend. Don't act all ignorant. For fuck's sake, we're not gonna- Don't- It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Charlie, let me handle this. It doesn't matter, Ben. Yeah, ignore him. It's exactly what I was gonna say to you. Ignore him. Morning. <gasps> Jesus, Tori. I you love her so much. Like that? Was he a knob? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I love her so much. She's just like she is in the graphic novel. Just appears. This is just gonna be me vibing at the soundtrack this entire time. I love this part. So in my vlog where I read the Hot Summer Graph Novel series again, this part, this part, I was like, I hope this part is in the TV show. And it is. I saw it in the trailer, so I know it comes. But I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. Charlie, I wanted to tell you that I'm gay too. Oh. And I'm in love with you. Oh. Do you want to go out with me? I want to be with you forever. Do you want to join the rugby team? <laughs> what? Yeah, I sorry. absolutely love the way that happened with the Alice Osman illustration behind him and just the transitional thing and oh my god, I'm obsessed! <laughs> so you're saying I am small and weak? Yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> no. I don't just fall for any guy who's nice to me. I do. Oh my god, this is like my worst nightmare, quite honestly. Joining a rugby team, oh my god. Hi. Mm. Hi. Donkey! Oh, it's playing out just like it did in the graphic novel, so I know what's gonna happen. I'm a little bit nervous, actually, even though I don't know what happens. I'd, it might not play out the exact same way, so I'm just a little bit nervous. No. Don't touch me. Yeah, exactly. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. Not to mention the fact that you have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen you with her at the school game. Receipts. Thanks for telling me. You'll never meet up when you want to, where you want to, when you feel like kissing a boy. Well, it's not like anyone else is going to want to go out with you, is it? Oh, mm, let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> yeah, Nick. He told you to stop. Piss off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, I love you guys so much. I wanted to check everything was okay. Mm, he's so caring. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Oh, he's just so happy. I'm happy too. Oh, I love Nick's mom. Is this an actual Instagram? Oh, Nick, how many Zs? How many Zs? Let me just check. That's not. That isn't. Is it? What the fuck? That's Olivia Coleman. Shut. What? <laughs> How? What? How did I not know this? What? 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 Olivia freaking. What? What? Uh, hmm? You know what? Uh, hmm. As soon as we saw her side profile, I wasn't 100% sure, but as soon as she turned around there, I knew. Excuse me, how could you keep that a secret from me? What? I'm shaking, I'm literally shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, I put a kiss at the end of it. Freaking out. Uh, Alice Osman, you genius. Ah. Uh, yeah, next episode. Next episode, straight a fucking way. Do I need a pee? No, I can hold it.
<laughs> Hang on, Olivia Coleman. <laughs> I love that he's stalking his Instagram. Oh my god. Oh, the way that happened there. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Illustrations appearing with the live action thing. Like, what is this? Like, the Lizzie McGuire movie? I love that. But also, god damn it, flashbacks to my own high school experience. Secondary school. We are not in America. Secondary school. Watch me relive my trauma. Oh, for God's sake, this music. Do you know how much I'm gonna have to cut out now so I don't get copyright? But at least Nick's trying. Oh! Oh, no, not you. Oh, go. You? Get away from Charlie. I guess so. You're just manipulating him, are you? Mm, 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 mm. But mm -hmm. I Oh, wait, oh, that was a flashback. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was too bang into the music that I forgot that it was a flashback. What's Nick's face like when he sees that heart? That's what I want to know. Oh, he's it's a little half smile. I love it. He's so confused, bless him. But... Oh, come on, please, somebody become friends with L. He's straight, Charlie. Like, you only need to glance him to see that he's a massive heterosexual. Masculine guys can be gay, and bisexual people exist. Thank you. You know, when I was a teenager and had a crush on a straight boy, I just repressed it and suffered. That doesn't sound very healthy. Same. So that turned out all right. To put in some space, but... Thanks, Tara. Oh, I love Tara. Oh, I do love Tara from the graphic novel series as well. Have you realised that I essentially love everyone except Ben? Have you realised that? There is another character who I loathe. I wonder if he comes up in this. I loathe him from the graphic novel series as well. You'll probably find out who it is in a sec. Oh my god, that canteen's so loud. I'm getting triggered. Tara said you have no friends. I didn't say that. Darcy as well, I love Darcy. Since you're seven, so. Oh my god, I love him. so much. Oh, Ellie! I wish I had a dog. My parents oh. don't like Ellie. I fucking love Nelly. You should come around my house and meet her. Oh, the shoes, the iconic shoes! God, I'm getting so hot. Hi. God, Tori. Oh my god, I love her! Round of friends. Appears. Is my hair too short? It looks the same. But is it okay? It looks the same. <laughs> Great. I am literally Tory. As much as I'd like to say I'm Charlie, I'm Tory. And plus, how can I be Charlie when I've been single my entire life? Hmm? Answer me that. Riddle me that. Hey. Hey. This is Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Hey, Nelly. Aww. You're so adorable. You got a haircut. Um, is it? How did is you it bad? notice? No, no, you look... It looks great. Stop. How Love the fairy lights, Nick. You are, you're a proper little nerd. <laughs> I'm not. It's snowing. Oh, God, I love this part. Dance with me. But this is what. Is this soundtrack on Spotify? All these hot super songs. Does someone have a playlist? Oh my god, I'm on one bad battery. Fuck. Hang on, I'm missing a good part. Hang on, I am watching this. I am. Oh, they're doing snow angels. Let me just plug this in. There we go, it's plugged in. Okay, crisis averted. Oh, look at this snow as well. This is Alice Osman's snow. This is Alice Osman's world, and we're just all living in it. Do we get to see Olivia Corman again? <laughs> Ago. You seem much more yourself around him. Oh, I love it when she says that the graphic novel series. Do I? You do. Oh man, oh this is the best series of the world. Oh man. Who are you texting? Your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes. I've kind of been feeling like maybe he isn't. Like he might like me back. Look at how hopeful Charlie looks. He's just like so happy and adorable. Nick likes a girl. I hate this part of the graphic novel series. What girl? Her name's Tara Jones. But we don't know if she actually likes Nick back. Isaac? 
I've already warned you about encouraging Charlie's crushes on straight boys. But I want to believe in romance. Me too, Isaac. Oh. Come on, be the voice of reason now. Come on. Nick Nelson. You might as well give up right now. He's the straightest person I have ever seen. Thank you. I'm fine. It's honestly I mean, I'm just you're bullshitting. There we go. <laughs> no. Aww. Together forever, no matter how long. Uh, I think saying it makes it feminine, so you'd be saying you have a girlfriend. Oh, what? <laughs> What's up? Oh, I just want to be his friend. Do you want to come around my house? Hi. I was just admiring Tara's hands. <laughs> Are you two like dating? Just say yes. Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, I love it. <laughs> And I just love that it's just like their thing. It's their thing in this TV show. It's not all about Nick and Charlie, although it is in my heart. In the Hot Summer series is Nick and Charlie foremost and, you know, most importantly. Um, but, you know, what we have these incredible characters as well around Nick and Charlie. And it's their type to fucking shine. Rise and shine. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh, this bit! I saw it in the trailer, but I still love it. Oh, I fucking love it. Oh. Look at the sparks! The electricity! <laughs> I wish I didn't have to go. Me too. You look so cuddly like that. Do I? So wholesome. Oh! <laughs> Stop my heart, my heart. Oh, oh, it's so cute. I don't think he's straight. <laughs> Up yes. <laughs> oh, that's such a good photo. I love it. Oh, he's zooming in on Charlie. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Oh, am I depressed? Oh my god! Ah! I love that episode as well. Oh, next episode. <laughs> oh my god, I really should take a break, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, I freaking love this so much. Oh, honestly, if I had this when I was at school, honestly, if this graphic novel series slash TV show had to come out while I was at school, oh, it would be so nice to find somebody now. Look, if I don't find somebody to love me by the end of this month, I'm turning straight. It'll be a huge loss to the LGBTQ plus community. Sparks fly at a birthday party when Nick's friend Tara confides in him. Inspired, Nick shares his feelings with Charlie and they grow even closer. Play. Oh, I've just spat everywhere, sorry. Oh, it's just because I'm so excited. I need to slow down. I need to slow down, but I'm not gonna. What? Hang on. It says, one of the signs you're gay is that you love superhero movies. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna need a new coffee. Oh, bless me, so confused. Oh. 62%? Hey, that's not bad. I actually think that's a higher rate than I got. It is such a confusing time, to be fair. And there needs to be more education on it. There needs to be more acceptance of it when they're, you know, younger kids. Because they feel like they're wrong, they feel like they're doing something wrong, but they're not. Oh, he's so confused. Someone help the poor man. It's a tough about a party, man. Party? My 16th birthday party. St. George's Hotel this Saturday. You're gonna be there. Yeah. Is that? Good. You better bring some cool people with you as well. You gonna invite me? Uh, is that? Hang on, I need to remember his name. I forgot his name. Hang on. What volume is it with a party? Is it the end of volume one? I hate him so much. Is this the person? Harry! Is it? Is that Harry? Is that Harry? Because I hated Harry. I forgot his name because I didn't care enough for him to remember his name. Fucking hate Harry. Is is it was he Harry? Was he Harry? I didn't quite catch his name. Oh bless her. Again, love of these tail screens. Hi. Hi. Do you wanna to go to Harry's party? With me. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't really sound like my sort of thing. Please come. I want you to be there. Okay. 
Oh, but Harry's a dick. I hate him so much. Him and Ben are the worst. Screaming! That's me, literally, with this whole bloody show. Screaming! Oh, Don't make him feel too bad. Come on. Oh, uh, awkward. I can see where he's coming from, though, because, you know, you don't want to lose your friend to a romance. Sometimes people can get too caught up in it, but come on, this is his first, like, true love. I'm getting a bit nervous. <sighs> you look great, Charlie. I'll be looking for you too! I thought we were having a film night. Yeah, a fun one. I just wanted it to be like old times. Well, it's not old times anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just let them hang out together. Just Talk. us? Mm-hmm. Why are you hanging out in here? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Tara Jones is here. <laughs> so? so? I mean, I do love Tara, but so? so? Big second chance, mate. You remember Nick Nelson, right? Uh, yeah, hi. Hi. I do love this part from the graphic novel series. I mean, not Charlie feeling sad, of course, but... Nick's stolen him. Mm. I think that's a little bit dramatic. All of this could have been avoided if I just... What? Told everyone I was a lesbian. Yeah, but, um... I'm so proud of you. I guess... That's my girlfriend over there. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it is. It's cool. I mean, I've only ever met one openly gay person before. Do you know Charlie Spring? Yeah, I know of Charlie Spring. Yeah, probably is my best friend right now. <laughs> what is that? I'm just gonna go find Charlie. What that nerdy little you tech? Oh, why do you deck him. him! He's my friend. But why? Kick him in the dingling! Because he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he has a crush on you? <laughs> oh my god, how sad. <laughs> That's homophobic. Uh... <laughs> Come on, mate. I really don't like you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, I love Tara you did now. It. I did. But sometimes change is a good thing. Mm -hmm. You made some friends. Are you jealous? No, no. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I actually needed to put myself out there or I'd just be alone. Oh, stop calling me out, Elle. I'm sorry. Hey. Do not touch me! Accidentally buying your apple juice at lunch at the start of term. Tao, that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no matter what changes, we always, always put our friendship first. We'll still go bowling and watch creepy documentaries, and we'll always stay up to watch the Oscars. And promise. I love them. To be fair, it's a really awesome party. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Oh. I do feel a bit bad for Imogen, actually. I love this! Oh, look at it! Oh my god, I love the colours in the background! It's a rainbow! Oh my god, it's illustrations! I've got chills, I've literally got goosebumps. Oh my god, look, I don't think you can see, but I've got goosebumps! Can you see? Can you see? No, you probably can't, it's fine. Ah, uh, that is a beautiful shot. Oh my god, if this does not get an award for editing, in cinematography, in all of the awards... And your year 11 friends are kind of... Dicks? ...intimidating. So I just ran into Ben. Ben? Yeah. I mean, I dealt with it. I pushed him into a wall and <laughs> got him to go away. Yeah. I think he got the message this time. I'm so proud. Shut up. What a big house. Wow. I want to go to there. This bit in the graphic novel series. I can't watch. So, but I can. I will. So you... Don't have a crush on Endor at the moment? Well, I didn't say that. No, I didn't. What's she like then? You're just gonna assume they're a she? Nah. Are they. Are they not a girl? Oh, 
so baby. confused. He's so confused. Oh, bless him. Oh, she was. Oh, look at that. Would you kiss me? Harry, stay away. There's no need to start anything. Oh, Just I hate him so much. Oh. Hey, you okay? Oh. <laughs> okay, <Keep> panic. <laughs> oh, I love this bit. <laughs> Oh, you gotta edit there. Next episode. I really need to pay, so I wanna make myself a coffee. I'm just gonna use this so it looks like it's from Starbucks. <laughs> I'll pay you right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Okay. We are back, lads. I had to have a little bit of a dance break as well because my Hannah Montana reading vlog has just dropped. So I blasted Best of Both Worlds in my headphones just to celebrate that going live. Doesn't it look like I've just gotten from Starbucks again? <laughs> anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get back into it. Let's do this. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it now. Watch it good, watch hot stop it just like I should. I'm sorry for not texting you. It's fine. <gasps> that was beautiful. So, I'm so sorry. Oh. And I don't want you to be awkward about it because it was all my fault. Sorry, I shouldn't have kissed you. Oh, this is making me so happy. Ooh. Oh. Beep! I'm gonna get his bed wet now. I'm just so sorry I ran away last night. I'm having a proper full on gay crisis. <laughs> I've just been so, so confused. Oh. My I just don't really know if I can, uh, you know, come out as anything. Yeah. It's fine. And he's done it before with Ben. But this is Nick we're talking about here. He's genuinely confused. He's not just using Charlie, okay? There's a difference. Do I forget something? Yeah, a goodbye kiss. Yeah. Now Nick's like, never do that again in public. <laughs> Does anyone else just feel an automatic elevation in serotonin levels when they say Nick and Charlie together? Just instant happiness, instant joy. Hi. Hi. Okay, now don't make it awkward in public, okay? <gasps> I just remembered somebody I hate, I just randomly, uh, and that's because, like, I don't know why I just randomly thought of it, but you remember how I said two people I hate, which was Ben and then Harry? Well, Nick's brother. Nick's brother. I don't know why I just randomly thought of that right now. But yeah, Nick's brother as well. Oh my god, I hate him so much. But yeah, carry on. I joined the rugby team. Mm, of course you did. <laughs> well. Hi. 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 I missed you. Oh. I saw you in form like four hours ago. <laughs> why doesn't anybody miss me? Are you sure your friends don't? Pass it! Pass it! Go on, tackle him! I get so into sports when I watch it. I hate sports, but I get into it. A lot of gay people are good at sports, Charlie. I love her as well. She's fantastic in the graphic novel. She's fantastic in the graphic novel series as well. God, those corns as well. Flashbacks again. Oh, I remember once, because nobody wanted me on their team for football at school. Once I 
did actually end up getting on someone's team and we were playing a game and somebody kicked the ball towards me. Bear in mind, this is football, British football. Um, and they kicked the ball towards me and I caught it with my hands. <laughs> That's why nobody wanted me on the team. But I claimed it was homophobia when it most likely was just because I was shit. Actually, when you think about it, there are 1,200 people at the school, so at least a few of them are going to be lesbians. Maybe you're a lesbian and you have no idea. <laughs> Her face, such was like... Like, just so you know, me and Nick are basically together, so I just needed to check. You and Nick Nelson are together? Mm. Look, we look cute together. Mm. Yeah, very cute. Delusion. So, you and Nick are definitely... Disgrace. Not. I'm a lesbian. Okay. I'm not like homophobic. Oh, for fuck's sake. Congratulations. We thank you for your service. Well done. Gold star. Ally. He's been eating lunch with him a lot. Oh, they're in the honeymoon. Oh, he's reading The Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Okay, Isaac. Okay. Oi, catch! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Harry. Can I have the ball back? It's mine now. No. Oh. Oh, poor Nick. How are they so far back? <laughs> They've got zero? It's 40 nil? Charlie will be bringing the whole rugby team to our film night to making us watch Avengers or something. <laughs> is that your nightmare scenario? Yeah. Watching a movie you hate with people you don't like very much. Charlie's befriending Bully. And also, Avengers is awesome. <laughs> Oh my lord, this is embarrassing. 35 nil. This is my dream scenario. A guy just doing something to my face, you know? Ugh. But maybe we could like go out somewhere together. Like I guess sort of a date. <laughs> So, sure. <laughs> well, this didn't happen in the graphic novel series. Yeah. What a cliffhanger! Next episode. So, I'm winning because I have more money. No, the winner is a superior business person, and that's me. Cheating Monopoly! <gasps> oh, whoops. <laughs> Isaac. True MVP. Should I perhaps perform a piece of interpretive dance? Would that be less annoying? <laughs> that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Too late. You've said it now. Oh my god. How's this? It is weird. I just think you can't recognise the talent when you see it. Oh, I can, and this isn't it. Erotic dance moves. <laughs> oh my god, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of inviting Nick to my birthday thing on Saturday. I really want him to come, but... I want you to be fine, no matter what the time of urban angel realize. What I do to make you mine. About our date. Are you okay? My dog died last night. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, story time, story time, flashback, flashback. Again, I wasn't out during school. Um, I mean, I spoke a bit femininely. So, you know, people assumed I was gay and called me gay before I even knew what the word meant. And some friends kind of like pressured me into asking one of my friends out, bless her soul. And I, I fell to the pressure and I did ask her out and I knew that's not what I wanted. I felt so bad because she had a huge crush on me as well. Oh, I'm getting such flashbacks from this. And I did tell her the next day that I didn't actually want to go out and I did feel pressured. It was awkward for a bit, but we did get over it. Yeah, this is just, damn, it's making me relive, you know, 2003 to 2008 Gav. That was the time where I went to secondary school. So, I mean, not that you need a clarification. I'm gonna shut up now and suppress more traumatic memories as much as I can. So it's kind of my birthday on Saturday. Me and my friends are going bowling. I was gonna ask if you wanted to come, but I know you don't really know there, so you don't have to. Yes. 
You can Charlie keep it down, please. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh God, poor Nick. <laughs> What you need to do is just be honest with Charlie. Oh god, sorry. I'm sorry. God. Hyped for your date on Saturday. Hey, on Saturday? Yeah? Imogen told me you're meeting up on Saturday. Shit. Like, she's telling everyone. Shit. Right? Oh. Yeah, she's telling everyone. 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 She's telling you gay for them. <laughs> Classic Harry. Resorting to homophobia when you can't think of a good comeback. Mm. Me? Are you in a mood today? Are you? Serious question. Life must be really hard when your only personality trait is Rick Bellend. <laughs> <laughs> That's you told. Oh, shit. It's just not even a nice fall, to be honest. No, that one is. Had a good day, Nikki. <laughs> Olivia Colman. Oh, I love her. I said I go on a date with this girl, but I kind of also agreed to go to Charlie's birthday party on the same day. Oh, do you like this girl? No. Well, um... No. Her dog died. Ah, uh, not for long. I love the bowling part in the graphic novel series too. Okay, let's do a new drinking game. Drinking game for all of you people watching. Take a shot every time I say graphic novel series. Just do it. Okay. Bless him with his big 15. Happy birthday. Oh. And I ignored you. <laughs> Can you at least try to get to know him? <laughs> okay, so obviously, like, Tao is, like, so protective of Charlie, and I totally respect it. Like, we all need a friend like Tao, to be honest. I mean, of course we stand Nick and Charlie together, but he's just looking out for Charlie. Okay? That's all it is. Watch me do it. Oh. <laughs> he was, oh, mm, ah, ah, ah. Isaac was holding radio sense by Alice Holzman. Charlie, look, I'm saying this to you as a friend. You need to stop this thing with Nick Nelson. I just don't like seeing him mess with you. Do you really think he's messing me around? His heart's in the right place. If he is even slightly mean to you. Yeah. You're mad at him. I know. I was going to say, send him a strongly worded DM, but <laughs> that is fine too. <laughs> he knows he's got a good with Charlie. He knows. Oh, I love these animations. My left arse cheek is asleep. Not really the best check to say that. <laughs> I don't know if this thing with Charlie is a joke or not, but for some reason he really likes you and you're messing with him and I will not tolerate it. So consider this your final warning. Oh. <laughs> I would not want to cross town. And then her dog died. And I felt really bad for her. And yeah. Sounds like an excuse, but it's true. <laughs> it's not like we're, you know, officially dating or anything. But maybe you should. I wish I'd known then what I know now. If I knew back then what I know now, wish I could somehow turn back the clock, I put turn back the time, and be, maybe listen to my own advice. I tell her to speak up, tell her to shout out, talk a bit louder, be a bit prouder, tell her she's beautiful, wonderful, everything she doesn't see. Honestly, get me started on Little Mix, I will not stop. I genuinely didn't have time. To go out and oh, oh my god, I love this part from the craft novel series. Shot! Oh. Sorry, it's a bit handmade. That was just you know, one of my favourite days ever. So. Do you like me? Oh, I guess. Wasn't that obvious? Yes! Why are we like this? Why are we like this? I'm gonna kiss you so bad right now. You don't have to. I want to. I'm getting coffee all over my shirt. You want to get slushies? Oh my god, I'd love to. I love slushies. Oh, I want to be part of this friendship group so bad. Are you shipping so hard? Oh. I love them. I love them. I 
Uh oh. Hi, I don't like you like that. Do you ever feel like you're only doing things because everyone else is and you're scared to change? Your real personality has been like buried inside you. I think I get it. Thanks for being honest. She's seen her very well. For now. Don't know if anything happens. How was your day? We decided we were better off as friends. I just think I can do better. <laughs> <laughs> At least Imogen is on his side. Next episode. Oh, gosh. Mamma Mia. But it brought back Mountain. Mamma Mia is great. Oh, well, I don't know. You think something I'm going to dish up the pizza? Olivia Coleman, Mamma Mia. Yes, I would watch it with you. And making a double marathon. Let's watch one and two. Oh, I want to like that post so hard. And that's Alice Osman right there. Which I did, Oswald. If you want my attention that badly, why don't you just throw something at me again? Like your last remaining brain cell? No. Oh. Burn. Burn. Let me like that photo, please. I love it. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, delete that. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. Give me a heart attack right on you. Yeah? One day, one day I'll get you. Mind the door. That's someone that locks you in if you let it shut. I remember this from the graphic novel series. Like, I never would have guessed that you were gay, but it's so cool and brave of you. Oh, they come. Do you have to say okay, stuff like that? People who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, asexual, we are just normal people. We're not aliens. We're not aliens. Why? Continue. <laughs> She's so gross. Lesbians are so disgusting. What is her problem? Excuse me, what? She only just fucking spoke. This is why I don't get homophobia. I just don't understand it. Literally. I'm just flabbergasted. Get me in that room. Let me in that room. Do you want to kiss? Would that help? Just a suggestion. Wow. Well, if you're not interested. You're entirely getting along well then. Actually, well, we're sort of going out. Are you? I mean, we haven't made it official or anything, but yeah. Some people were surprised. A couple of people already knew. <laughs> 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 Triumph at last. How about you girls? We're running through it again in a minute. We'll go back just a little bit just so I can get that reaction again. See? Oh, how I know. Everyone kind of knows now. Um, some people were surprised. A couple of people already knew. <laughs> Darcy! <laughs> Triumph at last. I feel like you have to come out to anyone before you're ready. Oh. Very important. Being out is hard. A lot of people will see you in a different way, and it is a lot to deal with. Mm -hmm. Does it feel good to have told someone? Yeah. It really does. We're getting there, lads. We're getting there. I'm getting so hungry. I'm going to order Chinese after this. Ah, oh, Tori! I didn't realise you were in a committed relationship. <laughs> I've missed her so much. <laughs> I told her we're together. What? I told her we're going out. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh. You're amazing. Oh. Hi. Bye. Hi, bye. Why do they make greetings and uh, the opposite of greetings sound so adorable? What, what do you actually call? Like, you've got a greeting and then the goodbye. Like, what do you call that? Hmm. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god, what is he doing? <laughs> oh. Okay, but do you have a it's sprinkles. Yeah, oh my god, they look nice. amazing. You're lucky to have me. <laughs> you make a cute little pair. 
Oh, I love how direct she is. Sorry, I'm just kind of like itchy all over because I'm just like, I've got goosebumps everywhere. Oh my god, no, that is a crime. I cannot believe you're disrespecting the bubblegum flavour in front of me. To be fair, I'm not the biggest fan of bubblegum flavour either. I'm afraid I'm saying with Charlie on this one. Okay, well, we can share. We are on a date. Is that the official rule of Is dating? that what people do on dates? Sure. I haven't been on a date in so long. Last year I was on, was for the uni newspaper and it was a blind date and it just, it did not go very well. And that was five years ago. <laughs> God, hot steppers make me feel so single. And these guys are like 15, 16. This is why I would have loved to have had hot stopper when I was that age. I would have felt seen. I probably would have tried harder to have maybe gotten a boyfriend back then. But it was just such a scary time and I didn't have any representation like this. And now I've lost so much time of my life. Continue. We thought it would be fun to go on a triple date. A triple date? Yeah. Um, you and Tao. Tao and Darcy. Um, you and Charlie. <laughs> yeah. You two are together. Yeah. <gasps> Charlie! Uh <laughs> I'm so happy for you. What about how? I'm gonna tell him I just need to find the right time. But he's the only one who doesn't know. It's gonna be awkward. The concert's starting in 15 minutes. Oh, oh. oh. Down it. Send it! I really love you. Oh, I love you too. Oh my god. That was so sweet. Don't look at her, you'll catch the most beauty disease. <laughs> Ugh, I hate... I've been researching about being bisexual. I think that might be me. But I'm not sure. I just want some peace and quiet. The door! No signal. Is this a horror movie? I think so many people would suddenly think I'm a completely different person. They don't think that. That was me. When I came out, I thought everyone would treat me differently, and that's why I didn't want to come out. I see you. I, I see you. See? This is beautiful. This is just love. People, stop being horrible. That's all you need to do. Stop. Look at how proud he is. Oh my god, do I really only have two episodes left? <laughs> Appears. Jesus, Tori. What? How did she appear out of nowhere? Old oh, sister magic. I love it. Graphic novel series. Nick's, me and Nick, we're kind of going out. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> you can't tell anyone, though. No. Well done, though. Your crush on him was super embarrassing. Go away! <laughs> they all probably think I'm this, like, gay nerd. Well, you kind of are a gay man. <laughs> Shut up, rugby land. <laughs> Best me. <laughs> oh. So Ben and Harry are there. I knew Harry would be there. I couldn't remember if Ben was there from the graphic novel series. Do you prefer sweet or salted? Both. You get a mix of both? Both. Always both. Sure. Are you okay? Sure. Uh... Wow, that just slipped out. Oh my god, say it again. No, go on. No. So what can we call Nick then? Nick. It's not Texas Chainsaw Massacre, is it? Oh, this is also something I've always wanted to do in the cinema with someone. Hold the hand you in a scary movie. I still love this though. What's it like being gay? <laughs> it's fine. It's normal. I've never seen that gay, to be honest. I mean, you do sound so sort of gay, but that's it. <laughs> do you like music? Harry. Sound gay, sound gay, sound gay. Remember. Did I do a story time before? I can't remember now. But yeah, that's what people said about me. I sounded gay. You just piss off, please. Yeah. Yes. Why, though? Why is terrorising Charlie so much fun? Why? How is it fun? Uh, I don't get bullies. I really don't. I'm honestly used to it by now. I'll see you at school. 
that's just the hardest part, isn't it? He's just used to it. When it shouldn't be a thing. You shouldn't be bullied. Ah. I saw you holding hands with him. In the cinema. So? What's it to you? Well, I believe that you're not going out with him. As if anyone would ever want to go out with someone as desperate as you. You did? Are you joking? Mm. You actually thought I liked you. Oh. You were just there like some tragic loser with barely any friends who ate lunch alone every day and let bullies walk all over you. I never liked you. I'm not even gay. I just felt really sorry for you. I hate you so much, man. Yeah. Run him over. Punch him! Punch him! So this is a problem with him being gay? Come on. None of us are being homophobic. Oh, just shut up, Harry! Aww, Punch you're him. getting so angry. Punch <laughs> you him. You might not want to protect him, can you? Because he's a pathetic little fat. So are you going to tell me what happened? Oh, I'll leave you a Oh. Harry was saying some really nasty stuff about Charlie. Sweetheart, you know fighting's not the answer. I know. She's got a point, but still he deserved it. He just used a really bad word. Charlie's a really special friend, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah. He is. Just leave it. Everything's fine. Yeah, maybe listen to your boyfriend. At least he knows his place. Punch him. He started saying something. Things about you. I and he defended it. you. <laughs> he didn't have to do that. Yeah, he did. He did. I didn't know any other way. Is there something actually going on between Nick and Charlie? It is, isn't it? Yeah. They're going out. Why are they still using Instagram DMs? Do they not have each other's number? Do they not use WhatsApp? <laughs> Make sure you leave the bedroom door open and tired, okay? Uh, <laughs> tell his mum knows what's up! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so afraid of being alone. Oh, tell. It's nothing, nothing to be afraid of. I'm living proof of that. Living proof. Alright, mate. Oh. Not in the that fight, then. <sighs> What's oh. this? Oh my god, I hate him so much. Yes. I hate you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh god. Everything that's happened, I've been making my life really difficult. Don't think that way, Charlie. So I was thinking maybe it would be better if if we just. Friends, but I guess you've just forgotten about me. Yeah. Tell, this is all your fault. Just leave me alone. Next episode, which is the finale. Oh god, damn it! Ah, uh, oh, but you, it's so complicated, isn't it? It's so complicated because Tao is just a really—he just wants to be his friend, and he just feels a little bit left behind. But of course, Charlie and Nick are. It's so complicated, damn it! Oh, the last episode. Come on, we've got this. We've got this. And then Chinese. Yeah. Didn't you hear about Harry Green's fight with Nick and Tao? Both my fault, by the way. Yeah, I'm like 95% sure they were both Harry's fault and I wasn't even there. <laughs> Say, just speaking truth. And I just feel like Maybe I do just ruin people's lives. Could it be better if I didn't exist? Oh. Sort them out. Sort them out, Tori. I could make us some pizza for dinner. Hmm. I don't want to talk about food uh -huh. now. Oh. I love that. <gasps> Did I just say ocean? Do I seem to recall a moment in the graphic novel series shot that involved an ocean? Is that in this episode? Oh my god. Do you think I would pass off as a year 10 student? 
I'm just thinking about casting for season two. That's what I'm thinking about. Do you think I would blend in? Or do you think I would stand out? I was born to stand out, but do you think I'd blend in? I mean, I'm only 29, so it's not too much of a stretch. <gasps> I love this teacher so much. Charlie, how's it going? Have the boys been giving you a hard time? Do I need to talk to anyone? No. Yeah, punch them. To be fair, they did lose pretty badly a few weeks back. I wouldn't want to be part of that team either, to be fair. I'm done trying to protect him when he's forgotten I exist. Like, I deserve to be appreciated. I think Charlie might be nervous about telling you because he really cares about your opinion. Because he loves you a lot. Fun fact, I came out to my dad last because I was more scared of his opinion than anyone else's. That was the only reason. It wasn't because I didn't like him. It, oh, didn't like him because my dad. Not because I didn't love him. It was just because I was more scared about what he would do slash say. Turned out, yeah, because he did disown me for two weeks after. It's fine. It's fine. He came crawling back after two weeks. So, And that was 12 years ago. 12 years ago on my 18th birthday. Yeah. Good times. Good times. You should talk to him. Yes, I should you. No. <laughs> Stay pissed off with him for a bit longer. Oh, I love that shot. It feels like years since I was back here. Are you sure you want to go back to Trin? I want to do this. Yes. Oh, I support you 100%. Oh no, sports day gives me anxiety. No, come on. Uh, Charlie, just talk to him. Oh, I think Alice Osman drew that too and makes sports day thing. That looks like they're writing illustration style. You've been coming in here for lunch a lot recently. Yes. Stop running away from your problems, Charlie. I will help you. Sorry for everything. Please hug a makeup. Oh, fuck off. Outrun the bastard. Look at him go! And push him! Do you want me to go around telling people about you and Nick? Do you want me to go around telling people about me and you? Eh. <laughs> That's what I thought. Except I wouldn't do that because I'm a decent person. Just leave me alone. Period. Hug. Okay. I did this. So I did this. Should have been looking out for you. Wait, hey! Oh! That kind of hair. <laughs> Maybe being the third wheel again. Come on. Oh. I'm gonna go find my old locker. <sighs> the better be season two. Honestly, the, when the music changes and those beautiful Alice Osman illustrations come in like this, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What's my hair doing? But Yeah, fuck the lot of years. <laughs> oh my god. In front of everyone. Oh, images happy. So, I don't care about getting into fights or pissing off my mates or anything like that. It's all worth it to be with you. Well. I mean, you are. I believe you. I believe you. Well done, boys. Please say the call to the beach. Please. How can you tell me where we're going? No. <laughs> Please say they are. I think they are. I don't see. Oh my god, Alice Osman illustrations again in the background. I love this. Editing Gav here at 3 a.m. to tell you that for some reason, Film and Gav didn't notice that Alice Osman was right in this shot. Right in this bloody shot, I was too busy looking at the artwork, okay? I was too busy looking at the little birds on the wall, essentially. And I didn't see Alice Osman on the train. What? But I did catch it. I did catch it. I just didn't catch it in the moment, okay? I do know that they're there. Oh, if you want to watch an interview that I did with Alice Osman about Heartstopper Volume 4 and partly the Heartstopper TV series, then check that out. We did that interview on my channel. I will link it down below. 
Love you guys. Oh my god, it is! <laughs> I think I might be totally wrong. Please. Oh my god! Oh yes! Yes! I'm definitely bisexual. And I don't want to have to sneak around pretending we're... And I love liking you. I like Charlie Spring! In a romantic way, not just a friend way! <laughs> never thought this would happen to me. Oh, Charlie. I am essentially the Charlie who never found his nick. Yeah? Does this mean we're boyfriends? Yes! <laughs> Was that not already established the last ten times we made out? <laughs> Oh, what? Uh, what are you doing? Throw him in. Throw him in. You're my boyfriend! Uh. Okay, I think we're enough now. This made me so happy. <gasps> I love this scene from the graphic novel series. Oh, you look very smiley. You've had a good day. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, all the girls. <gasps> you know Charlie's like my best friend. He's my boyfriend. Charlie's my boyfriend. <laughs> and, and, and me and Charlie, we're... And, and I just... wanted you to know. Oh, baby. No. Oh. It's, it's called bisexuality. If you've heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that. I wasn't born in the 18th century. <laughs> I love that line from the graphic novel series. <laughs> I started liking him way before that. Oh, I love you. Oh, God. Chills. Goosebumps again. Now we're gonna tell people. Yeah. Oh. I love that shot. Oh no, it's the end. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, stop. Stop. Oh god, oh my god. <sighs> I can't believe I finished the entire freaking thing in one sitting. Well, I mean, I got up twice to go to the toilet, but I haven't eaten anything yet. Oh my god, I loved it. Oh my god, I loved it. Oh my god, I loved it. Oh. <sighs> okay, so yeah, that was season one of Heartstopper. I need another seven seasons future length film. Ah, oh, God, that was just fantastic, honestly. It was just everything I hoped it would be. And, you know, more as well, because we did get some more of the other characters as well. And it was just, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I got some of the, like, really important things from, I think, maybe the first two, the, ma mainly the first two graphic novels, which means, is season two going to be, you know, graphic novel three and four, maybe? Oh, please be a season two. Please be a season two. I loved it. Oh, my God, I loved it so much. Oh, please let me know in the comments what you thought of Heartstopper Season 1. Let me know everything, because I need to talk. I need to talk about this. Oh my god, I loved it so much. Oh my god. And Heartstopper is just, it's going to be so important to a lot of people. I know that. Honestly, I keep saying this time and time again, but if I had this when I was at school, I just would have accepted myself so much quicker. And maybe other people would have seen that it was okay to have a sexuality that wasn't straight. Oh, freaking hell, freaking hell. I loved it. I loved it. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Loved it. Fantastic. The cast, incredible. The cast, perfect. They were perfectly cast. I love them so much. It was Nick and Charlie, but I also really loved Town L. I loved everyone, okay? Everyone was perfect. Oh, man. Would it be acceptable to rewatch it tonight? Maybe just like on the big screen instead of on the laptop and without a camera on my face so I can actually like bawl my eyes out. Netflix, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing this out into the world. Alice Osman, thank you so much for Heartstopper, just period. Maybe I can do a proper season one review at some point where I'm actually saying words rather than just spewing feelings because one, I'm really freaking hungry. Do you know how hungry I am? So hungry. Um, I just want to, oh, I just, oh, I loved it so much. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say because I can't think of anything else to say other than I loved it so much. Ow, my finger got caught in my hair. Okay, okay. That's made me want to reread all of Hardstopper again. 
I can't be doing that. I've got a uh, 1,000 book TBR to get through as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave all the comments down below. Let me know how much you loved Heartstopper. Any homophobia in those comments, I will block you. I also have, again, a reading vlog, reading all four volumes of Heartstopper so far. So please do check that out if you haven't already, because that was my whole reactions to every single volume. And it just, oh God, I just love Alice Osman. I love Heartstopper. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you now. And yeah, don't forget to check out all my socials in the description box as well. My outro is all over the place because wow. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye everyone. <laughs>